Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.17 from Sadiku book. So the question is use superposition to obtain Vx in the circuit of this figure and then check your result. And I think I don't need to check it, right? We just need to calculate it. Okay, so the question is to find out this Vx. Okay, we have two kind of volt, uh, sources here, two voltage sources and one current source so probably the first thing that i need to do is to turn off the voltage source okay what it means is we replace this voltage source here this 90 volt and that 40 volt here with a short circuit okay just a moment please okay let's get that okay i have this figure now so we have replaced the 90 volt here with short circuit and also this 40 volt with short circuit okay now we need to find out vx here but let's give give it different name maybe vx prime so i will use what maybe nodal analysis okay Let's use this as our ground here. And I want this node here as node A. And I want this node here as node B. And let's assume the direction of the current. This is going there. Oh, maybe that. I want it to going there. And this is going there. And this is going there. This is going up and this is going down and this is going to the right okay maybe let's do kcl at pa kcl at a and kcl said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay we will have the current that goes in is nothing so we'll have zero and all the current is going out. So I will have PA divided by 30 here. So I have PA divided by 30. And then this one here, which is PA divided by 60. And then this here, that will be PA minus VB divided by 10. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides by 60 so we can get rid of the denominator here. So we'll have 0 is equal to 2VA, and then plus VA, and then 6VA, and then minus 6VB. Okay, now we will have, this will be 9VA, 9VA, and then minus... 6 VB that will equal to 0 or we can divide this by 3 so I will have 3 VA minus 2 VB is equal to 3 maybe let's set this as equation number 1 and now let's move on to KCL at B so let's do KCL at B Again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. What can we do from here? Uh, now let's see B here. The only current that goes in is from this 6 ampere oh i missed this so i will have this current goes in and also from 6 also goes in so i will have pa minus pb divided by 10 is equal to no not is equal so i have plus 6 I have plus 6 and that will equal to pb divided by 30 VB divided by 30 from this branch here and VB divided by 20. Can we can multiply both sides by 60? 
So we will have 6VA minus 6VB plus 360 is equal to 2VB plus 3VB. Okay. So I will have 360 is equal to minus V minus 6VA yeah minus 6VA and then plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 that will be 11 11 VB okay this will be equation number 2 so we'll have equation number 1 and equation number 2 and I think I can do it like this because this this 3VA is minus 2VB is equal to 0. I can manipulate it like this. 3VA is equal to 2VB. And that means that I will have 6VA is equal to 4VB. Okay. So we can substitute that. So I'll have 360. And then this one will be minus. Because 6VA is equal to 4VB. Let's do that. 4VB plus so we will have 11 so what can we get from here we can have the 360 is equal to 7 VB or VB is equal to 360 divided by 7 but then we can calculate VA from here VA is 2 thirds of VB right so we will have VA is 2 third multiplied by 360 divided by 7 so this means that we will have 120 so we will have 240 over 7 that will be VA but then we will have VX prime from here vx prime is va minus vb okay so we will have vx prime is equal to va minus vb and that will be 240 over 7 minus 360 over 7 that means that vx prime is equal to minus 120 divided by Okay, maybe let's save this. So this is not the end because this is a superposition. We still need to turn off the current source here. And that means that we replace this current source here by open circuit. Okay, let me get the drawing for. Okay, here we I have replaced the current source by open circuit from here. So what we need to do now is to find out Vx in this circuit. Okay, but to differentiate with this Vx prime, let's name this as Vx double prime. So our target is to find out the Vx double prime. Okay, maybe let's do another nodal analysis. So let's get this as our ground and this not here maybe not c and this not here is not d okay let's assume the direction of the current so i'll have assuming this one goes like this okay and let's do kcl at not c kcl at not c Okay, what does KCL said? KCL said the currents that goes in will equal to the currents that goes out. The currents that goes in is only this one. So I'll have 90 minus VC divided by 30. And then that will equal to this current here, which is VC divided by 60. And then plus VC minus VD. 
divided by 10. Yeah, I think that's all, right? Now let's get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides by 60. So what can we get from here is 180 minus 2VC. And then this one will be VC. This one will be 6VC minus 6VD. Okay, that means that we will have 9VC. 9VC minus 6VD is equal to 180. Or we can divide both sides by 3. Yeah, I think we can do that, right? So I'll have 3VC is minus, minus 2VD. That will equal to 60. Okay, maybe let's save this as equation number 3. And now let's do another KCL, but this time at node D. KCL at node D. KCL at node D. Okay, there are two currents that goes in, which is from here and from here. So that means that I will have VC minus VD divided by 10 plus this one here that will be 4T minus VD divided by 20 here. And then we will have this one, which is the current that goes out. That means that it will be VD divided by 30. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides now by 60. So what can we get from here is 6VC minus 6VD then plus, so I'll have 120, then minus 3VD. That will equal to 2VD. So, this means that I will have minus 6VC. Okay, and then I will have, this will be minus 9, but move to the right hand side, I will have 11 VD. And that will equal to 120. Okay, maybe let's save this as equation number 4. Okay, now <coughs> I have two equations. Uh, okay, so maybe let's multiply this by 2. So I will have 6VC minus 4VD. That will be 120. And I just move this one. So if I have minus 6 VC plus 11 PD, <laughs> that will be 120. Let's sum this up. So what can we get from here is 7 VD is equal to 240. That means that VD is equal to. 40 divided by 7. But we still need to find out PC. <laughs> so what is PC? PC is, okay, let's write it like this. So I will have 3 VC is equal to 60 minus 2 VD. Okay, that means that I will have VC is 20 minus two-third multiplied by VD, but VD is 240 divided by 7. Okay, let's cancel this. This will cancel into 80. And so I will have VC is 20 minus 160 divided by 7. But now we will have VC. What is VC? Let's pull out our calculator here. So we have 20 minus 160 divided by 7. Okay, I will have minus 20 over 7. Minus 20 over 7. Really? Okay, I just trust this calculator, right? 
So that means that Vx prime is Vc minus Vd. So let's do that. So Vx double prime is Vc minus Vd. That means that I will have minus 20 over 7 plus 240 over 7. That will be 220 over 7. This is Vx prime. Vx double prime. But we are asked to find out about Vx here. So Vx is just Vx prime plus Vx double prime. So Vx is equal to Vx prime plus Vx double prime. What is Vx prime? Vx prime is minus 120 over 7. So I have minus 120 over 7. And then Vx double prime is to 20 over 7. So we will have 100 over 7. So this is Vx. The unit will be volt. Or if you want to make it decimal, what is 100 over 7? 100 divided by 7 is... 14.29 okay 14.29 volt 14.29 so that is the final answer if i did not make any mistakes in my calculation but maybe i made it so let me know in the comments if you find out my mistakes okay see you in the next video bye bye